A career-best double hundred from Joe Denley put Kent in with a shot at victory over Worcestershire at the end of day three. Kent resumed their second innings on day three on 120 for three, an overall lead of 44 with seven wickets in hand. Denley started the day 67 not out, but Weatherly couldn't add to his overnight score of 24 before Leach struck in just the third over of the day. Denley pressed on with support from new partner Stevens. But Stevens chose the wrong ball to leave and paid the price out LBW to Leach for 19. New man Gidman found the fence early in his innings, but it was Denley who took the plaudits, bringing up his second hundred of the season with a six off Moe Nally. As Denley pressed on, the wickets kept falling around him. Gidman out caught Whiteley, bowled Hastings for 19. Kent 221 for six at the lunch break. The middle session very much belonged to the visitors, with Rouse providing excellent support alongside Denley. Kent started to build a solid lead as the pair piled on the runs, Denley going past 150 and Rouse notching a half century of his own. It was hard toil for Worcestershire as Denley and Rouse's partnership approached 200. They would fall one short of the mark, but the damage had been done. Tea taken when Rouse was out for 68, Denley still at the crease on 177, and Kent's lead now worth 278. The evening session belonged to Joe Denley, but he had good support from first Coles and then Yassir. Coles hit a valuable 39, whilst Denley pushed on towards his double hundred. Coles fell with the score on 408, caught by Cox off the bowling of Moeen. Denley was running out of partners, but with support from new man Yassir, Denley brought up his double century, a superb knock under any circumstances, but even more impressive in the context of this match. Yassir made 27 before he was caught by Moeen off the bowling of Hastings. Last man Clayden then watched from the other end as Denley launched one final onslaught. Denley finally out for 227, having taken Kent from a first innings deficit of 76 to a lead of 398. Worcestershire negotiated a tricky five overs without loss to take the visitors to stumps on 16 for naught. Worcestershire will require another 383 runs for victory on the final day, whilst Kent will need to take all 10 wickets in a match that's evenly poised heading into day four.